Okay, hi everyone. I am Shubha, your GRE mentor. So today's in this video, we are going to start with the sentence equivalence, right? So I'm taking a part of verbal reasoning and that is your very first lecture sentence equivalence where I'll be completing three of the exercises from the book of Manhattan, right? So Manhattan has got approximately total of 137 to 128 exercises out of which three would be covered in my first lecture. We'll carry the sequence and we'll cover the entire domain in this manner so you will find it interesting and by the end of this video your three exercises would be directly captured in your head right so before heading towards what are there in the exercise and in everything let's discuss the pattern of verbal reasoning and brief now what's the verbal reasoning the pattern carries us see GRE is a very important examination in case you want to explore and grab your career opportunities in the foreign universities and to direct it right you need to crack this examination with a good number good score then only you can get the best of the marks and best of the university for you now verbal reasoning it carries a set of you can say three portions are marked but the RC can be in the two categories one can be the logic based another can be the simple RC it can be there so 50 percent is over in this domain next is your 25 percent for sentence equivalence and 25 percent for text completion now i'll be heading over the lectures where i'll be covering the entire verbal reasoning and this is the very first very start and this is going to be a set of sentence equivalence for you next is where i'm just telling you uh, what the sentence equivalence is about so all the ones who do not know like what is there in sentence equivalence and what all we discuss in it see a sentence equivalence is a framework where you will get a single sentence like structure a blank would be given to you and you will be given six of the best vocabulary options now out of six options you need to capture two of the options which are right and which will fit the best in that blank now when you're getting your you can say ticking the two of the best options one thing i'll tell you some of the simple hacks and some of the simple tricks how can you solve these verbal reasoning suppose the sentence starts with while suppose the sentence starts with although what is the thing you need to tick out and what how you have to eliminate the options now one more thing you need to check out the synonym set which whatever whatever always i say my students is like go for the set of synonyms because when you will find the synonym in the six options you will be able to make the categories and the groups and in this way you can fit that in the sentence right so let's head towards the next slide here I am discussing like by end by the end of the entire this video you will be able to learn six six and six like a total 18 new words by the end this is from the exercise one exercise two and exercise three I'm going to narrate the word for the first time for you and by the end you will be able to learn okay this word means this emblematic paddle steward append husband procure grief gore slaughter homo sapien carnage anguish fallacious agony counterfactual lunatic facilitating and big you now next is the first very question and first very exercise of today's video here the sentence starts with while while the colonists would eventually push westward first they were in a difficult winter and the main challenge was to dash their existing resources now i told you when a sentence starts with while what you need to do is you need to think like there will be counter options if a sentence has positive part at the front it will have a negative part at the back and the vice versa so what it is there is while the colonist would eventually push westward if colonists who have will eventually kya karenge dhere dhere westward ki taraf hi jayenge first they were in a difficult winter pehle lekin wo bahut difficult winter mein the and difficult position mein the and the main challenge was ki jo bhi unke paas bacha hua hai whatever the existing resources they have they had to they need to save it they need to take care of it so 
here the blank needs what it needs is how to save how to take care of the existing resources like their main aim like they wanted to acquire they wanted to push westward everyone but first their aim was to save their resources naturally they wanted to take care of them and they want to save them now you have got six options as i told you first option is sell sell ka matlab kya hota you know that that is to give someone or you can say you are delivering something to someone next is paddle paddle means the same that is to sell something okay so it's p e d d l e take care of the spellings also steward steward is a person who takes care of passengers uh, who can say you can say of a train aircraft or somewhere so it is actually pedal means to sell something steward means a person who take care of passengers or something like over the train or aircraft and all a pent means when you are bending something or you can say setting something upside down okay so when i'm bending something turning something upside down that is termed as a pent husband means see we know husband as a person whom wives are married to a person you are married that is termed as a husband but here husband also carries one more meaning and that is to use the resources or you can say economically when you use the things wisely bahut dhyan se kisi cheez ko utilize karna that is also termed as husband and last is procure procure means when you are to obtain or acquire something that is also termed as procure so these are the six words which we have for our first sentence equivalence right now as i told you make the set of synonyms over here you will see sell and paddle means the same steward and husband means the same and this is different this is different so we need a vocabulary set where i wanted a fit and blank and that means here the word can be while the colonists would eventually push westward they needed to save their existing resources save here means that is to paddle and to husband so let's check it out it's steward and husband and let's check it out again here it is while they want they wanted to take care of their existing resources it's steward and husband right so i'm going to read the explanation for you the while tells you the second part of the sentence will have a contrast i told you that when there is a while there will be a contrast the first is positive next is negative statement and the vice versa due to approaching winter the colony needs to stay and conserve take care of what they already have only steward and husband mean this sell and paddle do not work because there is nothing like you want to commute or you they want to sell or there's no commercial practice that was mentioned and there is no procure someone means all we know is to obtain to get to acquire so when that does not fit in this sentence now this was the meaning and this was the explanation of the first sentence equivalence now before moving forward the next exercise i want to discuss a plan and i want to discuss the vocabulary set what each word means over here so when it is husband it is companion the person who is your partner the person who is your bridegroom or helpmate plus it is when you are using your resources very economically someone who takes care of steward in the same way means someone who takes care of the things or who is an administrator agent representative next we have us for the paddle paddle c here the spellings is p e d d l e someone who sells or who wants to give something like someone who is into marketing pushing trading shopping vending or the mongering right so these are the entire words when you can make notes into your diary or some notebook what does each word mean the basic meaning of the word should be clear to all of you and here the paddle is you know about it it's p e d a l and here it is p e d d l e next you have is append append is like turning the things upside down overturn turn down or the flipping of the things that is turned as append he appended the bicycle to fix its flat tire like you move your bicycle upside down to get it fixed to get it treated from the shopkeeper next is your procure procure means to obtain to get to purchase to buy up to hold to grab to have two of the best meanings you can note it down you just need to understand the word she managed to procure a ticket to the concert she managed to get she wanted uh, she managed to obtain the ticket to the concert 
Now moving to the next sentence. Here we have the emblematic of the slaughter of the first world war. Now emblematic means like some kind of symbol or you can say representation. Representation of the slaughter. Slaughter I told you where uh, I have discussed the word this word in my vocabulary reels also where I mentioned that slaughter is a place where animals are killed or where some people are killed you can also call it as a slaughter. Kasai khana even that is a slaughter. Slaughter hota hai marna. Hai? So slaughter of the first world war. Everyone knows ki first world war mein bohat log maare gahe the. 60,000 British soldiers died. 60,000 Britishers mare gaye the for not on the first day without any profit or without any cause. They were all the people they were dying without any reason of the battle of some of some you can say some battle 60,000 people died and this is marking as an emblematic uh, representation literally consumed into a stew of blood and what like they were literally consumed filled up with blood and what is the other word now this thing gives you a certain representation ki khoon ke saath kya hota khoon kharaba hona bahut logo ka ek violent massacre ho raha hai matlab ladai jhagde ho rahe hai to such term can be there like with blood and with great violence where lots of people are dying where you can say you are seeing lots of number of people dead they are shunned down on the ground so something related to this word you just make a scenario and capture that word right now again we have got six options for it the very first option is grief grief we all know that it is a, a kind of an intense sorrow where we are already very upset intense sorrow caused by the death of someone we are in a stage of grief okay next is the word that is termed as gore what do you mean by gore is where you can say there is a lot of bloodshed is there due to violence so when there is a lot of bloodshed due to violence we call it gore steel all of you know what is the meaning of steel if i have to explain it it would be a kind of a product you can simply say or alloy of iron or even a different term like one is alloy of iron but yeah even steel means like you are mentally preparing yourself for some hard things like i told you the meaning of husband also here also steel means like you are mentally preparing yourself for something really hard next is your bullets bullets already know the metal projectiles from the rifle or something like that so these are the, actually the projectiles and all from rifle or you can say any weapon and all next is the word that is your carnage and carnage means the same that is killing of large number of people and the last word is your anguish and what is the meaning of anguish anguish is where you are getting severe mental or physical pain right so these are the six words which we have got for our second sentence equivalence where it is like there is a representation of the slaughter ki bohat log mare gaye the first world war mein approximately 60000 without any cause and they were all like you will can say there was a bloodshed and lots of people were dying there was a violent massacre so what are the two words which are synonyms and that can fit in a sentence grief no gore yeah there's a bloodshed due to large number of people violence dying that can be there what can be there then steel no bullets no carnage yeah killing of the large number of people so it can be gore and the carnage let's check it out it's gore and the carnage right so i hope you understand the meaning and even these two are synonyms so that is why even they fit into the each other now the explanation which they have given us in the book while many of the words make sense, the words slaughter and blood demand the correct pair. Obviously, khun kharaba, I told you, bloodshed and violent massacre, that fits as a pair. So you have to choose the word according to the pair. Grief and anguish are incorrect pair because grief is weird and generally other people experience like after someone's death, right, when someone dies, rather than feeling person grief over a violent death. When someone dies, then you feel the grief. It's not about some massacre is happening and you're feeling uh, grief over that. No, it's not on a violent death. You do not feel for that. Right, so this was the word. And now let's list out 
some of the synonyms like what are the words which you learned in this uh, second exercise emblematic i told you representation figurative symbol it can be characteristic typical emblematic explanatory they are distinguished by wearing of a white turban emblematic matlab wo kya karte hain like there are some religions like we do wear uh christians do wear white clothes on their wedding indians do wear red clothes on their wedding so that is a kind of a representation of something like white represents purity peace or something like that so this is the entire domain like emblematic means it's a pure representation of something carnage it's a complete blood slaughter slaughter butchery then you have man slaughter slaughter is a kind of a butchery blood shed blood bath destruction annihilation i told you where there is a massive killing the place where the even slaughter house is a place where animals are killed you can consider it for animal humans also gore it's blood carnage and slaughter thousands of people were slaughtered during the conflict so this is a kind of a slaughter house and i have shared this word in my vocabularies abattoir were the place which is used as uh, you can say in replacement of the slaughter house next you have as grief when you are mourning when you are in anguish when you are in a pain when you are in a regret so despair remorse agony misery grief sorrow that's anguish he experienced the anguish of divorce after 10 years of marriage now this was the end of our second exercise also now i'll be moving you to the last exercise i hope you are clear with the first two exercises we have done today in my lecture right before heading to the third one i want you to tell i want to tell you that in case you wanted to be bilingual just drop in the comments it will be bilingual for you also and i want you like we have done till now 18 words 18 new words you have been introduced yet so you need to make notes of those 18 words so that if there is a repetition because in book in options in manhattan there will be a repetition of options and there will be a repetition like when the while sentence starts what would be there what is the meaning of the sentence how to frame prayers so that for that you need to make a lot and a lot of notes okay so let okay so this is going to be the last exercise of our first lecture on sentence equivalence let's look to it it's your 40 years ago anthropologists firmly believed that neanderthals and modern homo sapiens never mated now 40 years ago there was a different belief that anthropologists are the people who study about the origin right so they consider that there were the two classes like suppose it's neanderthals and homo sapiens right so people humans they never mated but advances in genetic testing prove that incorrect but as much the advances the researchers went on in uh, you can say in sciences this statement was proven incorrect such is the dash nature of science now for science assume something different then it kept on evolving it kept kept on increasing it kept on changing it kept on advancing and then some new things were entered into the research so here you can take it as advancing or you can say some discoveries were made some evolving nature so in this way it requires some word related to the progressive state of the science now we have got six new words here fallacious is some kind of mistaken belief right so suppose we have some kind of a mistaken belief we have a thought that is termed as fallacious evolving is i told you that is something that is developing and developing in a slow and steady speed developing gradually is termed as evolving counterfactual it is actually a statement or you can say expressing what has not happened so it's counterfactual something that has not happened is termed as counterfactual advancing also means the same that is progressive or you can say advancing then it is the next is your vacillating vacillating means when you are wavering confused between two different opinions or options so wavering between opinions or options and the last is your undeterminable what is the meaning of undeterminable is something you are incapable to decide like you are not able to determine if this thing is there or not like still now we do not know we are undeterminable like 
what actually happens to a person after death we are not aware we are not sure about it so that is something we cannot determine on some statement so these were the six words which we have in our ppt now how to solve it out is now i told you like you need to believe in that 40 years ago this thing happened but later on the nature of the science was progressive it was evolving it was spreading it was advancing so what are the best words for it it's evolving and advancing right so it's evolving and advancing like obviously the science even evolving with time it's all always advancing towards time so what uh, they are telling us that sometimes a seeming theme tap like we are we were not aware such thing happened but science did research and then we realized that okay this thing actually happened so these two were the synonyms and that is why we took it into the counter figure and next is your fallacious and counterfactual is an incorrect pair that reflects misunderstanding the sentence which does not say that science is wrong that just that it is a nature to constantly revise to face a new information so that was all in this uh, next and here I'm going to discuss the vocabulary set once again who are the homo sapiens homo sapiens are the humans persons mortals the person who dies living person earthing person right so all people we all are actually a members of homo sapiens only we all have originated from that right so this was a state we were monkeys and then 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 we progressed right so when we have progressed from the race of monkeys to tear right Next is your fallacious. Fallacious is something that is fictitious, misleading, fraudulent, deceiving, not true. His argument is based on fallacious reasoning. Next you have is counterfactual, something that is not true, that is false, that is truthless, wrong, untrue. Vacillating, that is you are wavering between two options like do this or that. That is termed as facilitating. That is your, you can say, hesitating, wavering, unsettled or decisive, like you not know, constantly here and there. Right? His lunatic counterfactual art is more appealing than the banal awfulness of reliable resources. Suppose you are unaware about any of the meaning in a particular sentence. Do drop in the comments and I'll help you to answer all this. Now, this was a wonderful, uh, I hope you like this lecture and I have tried to cover three of the exercises of the Manhattan and I'll be bringing more and more for you so that we can together cover all the sentence equivalents, all the verbal reasoning parts with you here only. Okay, so it needs to be beneficial for you. I have provided you with a list of 18 vocabulary sets at the very start. I hope you are trying to jot down the notes and by the end of it now, you are able to recall it. So soon I'll be bringing up with more and more sentence equivalence exercises. I've even started the life of these high frequency words, the vocabulary set, which is very important for your verbal reasoning. So do attend those lectures also. It's Wednesday at 5 p.m. every time. So need need to be there. Just wrote down the notes in case of any query. Even you want it to be bilingual, more of the Hindi words in, I would bring it for you. Okay, so all the best. Keep preparing really hard. It's very important to get successful and to clear your paper with good marks. Take care. Have a nice day. Shubha signing off. Bye-bye.